In this chapter, we are going to cover how to create two-dimensional multi-view drawings based on 3D parts and assemblies. We will step through lesson by lesson the drawing environment, model view, standard views, and projected views. We will also cover auxiliary and section views. Now let's take a look at the drawing we see on the screen. The two-dimensional production drawing is a multi-view drawing of a cast part called Bracket. The bracket consists of three principal views, front, top, and right side view. It also consists of an auxiliary view taken from the front view, and another auxiliary view taken from the front view. However, we are only shown a portion or piece of the view. Along with the three principal views and auxiliary views, we have two pictorial views. Note how the pictorial views are shaded with edges visible. Also note that some views have hidden line types while other views do not. All of these views, along with their unique settings, are easy to create in the SolidWorks drawing environment. Now let's open up the part model for the bracket. In fact, we'll tile the two windows side by side. So we'll select the window dropdown and then tile vertically. I am going to close the feature manager tree so we can get a better view of the drawing sheet. So on the left hand side of the screen, we see the finished drawing. And on the right hand side of the screen, we see the part in the part environment. One thing to note is when you are creating parts, we can make a change in part mode and it will be reflected in the drawing sheet. It will also be reflected in the assembly. We can also make changes in the assembly or the drawing environment to a part, for example, this bracket, and those changes will be reflected in the other environments. So basically, parts, assemblies, and drawings are linked to one another. We can make changes in any one of those environments, and it will appear or be reflected in the other environments. So let's give it a try. Let's go into the angle bracket, and I am going to double click on this whole feature. And notice the size is diameter 10. And you can see here in the drawing area that we also have the diameter 10 for the right hand side view. I am going to double click the diameter 10 in the part environment and let's bump it up to a diameter 19. We will rebuild the part. Notice the increase in diameter 19. And also notice in the drawing environment, I receive these orange hatched boxes around each view. That tells me I need to update the views, which just by clicking in the drawing environment, the views are updated automatically. Now notice in the same view here, the whole size has updated to diameter 19. So that gives you an idea of how drawings and parts and assemblies all work with one another. What we're gonna do in this chapter and the next chapter is look at how to create drawings using many different features.